tell us, how did you get involved with this concert? Well, with I this got a contest? phone call from uh, my friend Larry Cobb, and he works with the America's Greenest Campus uh, campaign. He asked, "Would Global Grind?" dot com get involved you know I have this political editor who had met with him already and they were excited and they're sitting in the next room they're best friends now he's the political editor uh, Michael Skolnick in the back there for globalgrind dot com and so we collaborated too um, and then they just got me somehow I mean I you know I've been working on these issues and so they, the Obama girl and and this team got me to to be one of their spokespeople it's such an amazing thing and I'm very blessed to you know been chosen to be one of their support systems because you know young people and also specifically hip-hop they've been there's many young people of course are amongst the most aware but they also are the most the biggest consumers they are the, they, they have the biggest carbon footprints and so they should be aware because then they have the future to carry as well so we've been working on uh, planting more good seeds in their head you know little things the many many people are participating and again it's about close to 500 campuses but we want more you know before so that's what we're doing we're trying to stay on the, on our grind trying to push the idea and get hip-hop because they got the biggest brand building voices i mean they decide it's cool to be to pay attention you know and so i i, I use every angle i can think of you know I'm, I, I talk a lot this month all month we've been talking about um in my small the yoga community at the jiva mukti center we talk about uh, Stiram Sukham Asanam, and that's you know the thirty third sutra, and it's steady, joyful pose, right? And and from that grows, you know, everything comes from that kind of relationship. And the idea of being connected, you know, as a yogi, we all, and as a Christian or a Jew or Muslim, we all talk about being connected. And you're also uh, a vegan as well. You I'm say a that vegan. That, yeah, that's one of the best things you could how do. How does right? that if reduce you your carbon what? footprint, though? My friend is out there with putting signs through the window. The, being a vegan is, you know, it's like the greatest cause of global warming, probably, you know, over anything is like the nine billion suffering farm animals that are birthed into suffering, and and then they put them in your body, make you sick, and then they just it's just a mess, you know. That so we ask kids maybe eat one less hamburger. You know, they don't have to be a vegan, but you eat one less, and the next thing you know, you know, you don't want to eat, you know, the the farm animals and you don't want to be part of that suffering and you don't want to carry that weight and you don't want to all the forms of transportation put together um, um, are less a less uh, weight on you and on the environment than the animals mm -hmm. you know and that's a horrible thing that no one mentions as you and report I didn't make it up more the, the, the form all the forms of transportation put together do not equal what you what the, the harm you cause by eating animals that another way to say it? I gotta frame it differently. But that's that's the that's the truth, you know, it's not something that we overlook.